If you want to keep all of your meeting notes in one running document, this tip will save you a ton of time and is really helpful for quickly finding information within that document. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a table of contents, but we're going to kind of automate the process a little bit using headings. So what I'm going to do is you see I have my meeting notes here is I'm going to first click on insert table of contents. And then I always choose the blue one just because I don't need to have page numbers. And you'll see here it says add headings, format, pair, all that. So here's what that is. If I go to 620, my first um, meeting note here, I'm going to click on where it says normal text, and I'm going to change that to heading one. You see it modified the text a little bit. And then what I'm going to do next is next to my table of contents, I'm going to click on the refresh button to update it. And now 620 has been added there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to format heading one, format heading one. And now instead of having to manually type each of these in to update my table of contents, all I need to do is just hit the refresh. You can also use headings to create indented parts on your table of contents. So instead of heading one, I'm going to make this heading two. And now when I hit refresh, you'll see I have my date and then I have my meeting notes right here. So you can play with headings, do all sorts of things, but really this is the way I think to go because it's just so much less work. And if you have like a meeting template that you copy and paste, all you need to do to update your table of contents is click one button.